The island I call home is also home to a rich Celtic history and over the past 2,000 years it has received many, many attempts trying to destroy it, but it still persists and some of his art was assimilated by other cultures, mainly Christianity. The most commonly seen one of these is the Celtic Knot which can vary from a basic simple pattern to incredibly ornate designs. But where did these designs come from and what do they mean? In the response to the glory of Rome dying out, one of its earliest losses was the British Isles. Well, the part of it that it owned anyway. This caused a surge in, in what is now known as insular art, which was a new form at the time. It's a mix of pre-Rome Celtic art with new Roman influence. Um, and in later works, it also has some strong Christian influences. This is when the Celtic Knot first appeared, the earliest known one appearing around 450 CE. The Christians then, when they came over, saw these beautiful pagan patterns and were like, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take the knots, please, but hold the, uh, the pagan for me. You can't just steal our knots and, and leave all the culture behind. One knot, please! So as you can see, from then on, that is... There is knots in books, crosses, and lots of other Christian art. And now this design that sprang up in a re-emergence of Celtic influence in a post-Roman Britain was in turn captured and used significantly by Christianity. Now, if you're unfamiliar with shirtless British white men, you might think that uh, that's the end of the story. You'd be wrong because you've not seen as many British white men as I have. It became very popular with these people for it to become tattooed onto them. And I don't know, I don't know what's a worse fate, really. <laughs> being captured by Christianity or being on British beer bellies. <laughs> so what do these Celtic knots actually mean? All of these knotwork interlaces represent the interconnection of life and everything within the universe and our place within that universe. Spiral knots, while still representing the universe, they also reflect on the wearer's individual accomplishments and the balance of the inner and outer self. Depending on the amount of spirals, they can also represent elements of the universe. A single spiral knot represents the sun, a double representing the equinox, and three spirals will represent the heavens, cosmos, and water. These designs reflect the balance of the inner and outer self by using the balance of the universe as an analogy. There are also step patterns, which represent the progression of the wearer through life, and also their ascent towards heaven, again showing the wearer's place in the universe. There are many other styles as well, but I'm not going to talk about every single style. If you want that, then you, you, you'd be in for several hours of, of content. That is the Celtic Knot, a piece of Celtic history and culture. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have something to say, and why not share this video with a friend? I have a Twitter and Instagram and Reddit, so check those out. Links, as always, will be in the description, along with my TIL vids and my YouTube, depending on which one you're on. And as usual, I will see you next week, babies. But that is the Celtic knot in a, in a nutshell, or a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell.